So recently, a subscriber on the channel asked a very interesting question that I think I would like to share with all of the viewers of this channel. And the question is, do you think this sort of approach, which he means by machine learning, will assist in getting the breakthrough in finally understanding how some anesthetic or a drug work on the brain? So the anesthetic could be any other drug and the brain could be any other organs or target site in the human body. And so the answer that I provided was that the information that is gained from a machine learning model, which is typically built on a library of drugs, which has been experimentally tested, and then the resulting data, we use that data to build a machine learning model, which will be able to predict the biological activity that the drug has. And so I've summarized that into four major steps. So the first step would be the drug. The second step would be the drug will bind to the target protein. And then the third step would be upon binding of the drug to the target protein, it will undergo a process that is known as signal transduction, which means that this target will then amplify and activate various other molecular interactions in the human body. And then this is known as the biochemical pathway or the metabolic pathway, whereby two molecules which interact with one another will trigger a cascade or kind of like a domino effect of other proteins or macromolecules such as carbohydrate or other macromolecule to interact with one another and eventually a domino effect finally lead to a phenotypic change. A phenotypic change would be something that is observable such as the formation of a tumor mass or a noticeable aberration of organs. And so in this four steps, a typical machine learning model that we build will address one of the four steps. And so in a common situation, the machine learning model, like for example, the one that our research group has developed, will address the first two steps, which is on the drug and the target protein interaction, right? Because we take the drug and target protein interaction pair, we use that to build machine learning models. So drug A and target protein A, drug B and target protein A, drug C and target protein C, or vice versa, right? Many different target protein against the same molecule. And so that machine learning model will address only the first two steps. But then the things that happen afterward, the signal transduction and the various other biomolecular interaction that happens after that will require more complex and further analysis. And so if this sounds a bit gibberish, then I would recommend to have a look at the prior video which I've made on the introductory concepts of using machine learning model for computational drug discovery. And so if you have any other questions on bioinformatics or data science in general, and you would like me to create this type of explainer video, then let me know in the comments down below. And if you're finding value in this video, please support the channel by smashing the like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and also hitting on the notification bell so that you'll be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.